welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here, and in this video we're going to talk about solving equations with x on both sides. So, we're trying to get to the point where we solve equations like 3x add 10 is equal to x subtract 2, and 3 brackets x add 10 is equal to 2 multiplied by x subtract 2. Okay, so we're trying to get to this point here. Now, what I'd like you to do is... Um, I'll let you decide yourself. The first thing I'd like you to do is make sure you're good at two-step equations. Now, I've done two videos on solving two-step equations, and I'd like you to just pr quickly practice those eight questions there to check you're fully uh, aware of how to do those questions before we move on. So I'll give you 10 seconds. I'll show you the answer in 10 seconds. Okay, and here are the answers to these questions as follows. Okay, so I've highlighted them and underlined them in blue even. And the challenge question is the type of question we're going to do today. The answer turned out to be x is 4. I'll show you how. You could have just guessed numbers until you get that, but there's a good way of doing it. So just to point out what we're doing today, we're solving equations with x on both sides. Um, but this is how an equation looked, a two-step equation before. And now we've got some x on the other side as well. You can see the difference here. So we've got x's on both sides while we're solving these equations. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, the aim of the game, as you know, is always to find that to have x is equal to something. Now, we've got x's on both sides of the equation, so it would be sensible to try and have x's only on one side of the equation. Now remember, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So a good idea would be to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. If we subtract 3x from both sides of the equation, that will mean it will remove the 3x from the right-hand side. And we'll get 2x add 4 is equal to 20. Now we're in familiar territory. This is just a normal two-step equation. What happened to x? Well, it, it got multiplied by 2 and then 4 got added so going backwards what are we going to do subtract 4 and divide by 2 so let's do those we're going to subtract 4 from both sides and we're going to get ourselves that 2x is equal to uh, 16 and then we're going to divide both sides by 2 as follows and we're going to get that x is equal to 8 and we got ourselves what we wanted x is equal to something on one side now we check, 5 multiplied by 8 is 40, 40 add 4 is 44, so this side's 44. 3 multiplied by 8 is 24, 24 add 20 is also 44. So happy days, we got the answer correct. Right, let's try another one. Example 2. Now, similar methods apply here. We want to get uh, the answer x is equal to something. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract a 2x off both sides. We're going to draw our line underneath and we're going, we're going to therefore write that we've got 5x here, we've still got the subtract 3, must be equal to 11. And now what happened to x? Well it got multiplied by 5 then subtract 11. So to undo that, uh, so then subtract 3 even, we're going to add 3 to both sides we're going to get ourselves that 5x is equal to 14. And we're going to divide both sides by 5 now. Divide by 5. And we're going to get that x is equal to 14 over 5. Now, this is not a whole number. Do not feel under pressure to decimalise it. It's absolutely fine to leave it like that. If you want to check it's correct, and this is a calculated paper, you could do 7. and We're going to multiply it by 14 over 5. I'm going to subtract 3, and that's 83 over 5, so let's check it's the same on the other side. 2, 14 over 5, then add 11, and we get 83 over 5 again, so we know it's right. Okay, next one. Now, um, you'll notice a slight difference between these. The bigger x is on the right-hand side here, and the smaller x is on the left-hand side. Now, I just find it easier to write, we know we're going to want x is equal to in the final answer. We usually write like that. So what I might do is I might just swap these round to have the bigger x here and the smaller x this side. 
Okay, there's no harm in just swapping around two things on either side of an equality. So now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2x off both sides. And we're going to say that we've got therefore 3x subtract 3 is equal to negative 5. Now we're going to add 3 to both sides. Underline. And we've got ourselves that 3x is equal to negative 5 add 3. So if you're not sure, there's 0. You start at negative 5. You add 3. You end up going to negative 2. So the answer is negative 2. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. Okay, so that x is equal to negative 2 over 3, or x is equal to negative 2 thirds. A little aside here, negative 2 divided by 3 is negative 2 thirds, because a negative divided by a positive is a negative number, and we can just leave it as 2 thirds. Now we could obviously check our answer, so what we can do is we can say 2 multiplied by a uh, fraction negative 2 over 3, Okay, and we're going to subtract 5. That's negative 19 over 3. I'll work out the other side. 5 multiplied by negative uh, 2 thirds. Um, subtract 3. And again, again, we get negative 19 over 3. Okay, example 4. Now, in this case, uh, you'll see that we have a 3x and we've got a negative 2x. So what can we do? We want to get x equals as our final answer. What can we do to remove that negative 2x? Well, this time we're going to have to add 2x to both sides. So we're adding 2x to both sides. Line underneath. And what we're going to get then is we're going to get that 5x add 3 is going to equal 10. And we're back in familiar territory. We're going to subtract 3 off both sides. And we're going to get ourselves that 5x is equal to 7. We're going to divide both sides by 7. And we have our answer that x is equal to... Um, sorry, sorry, my fault. Uh, going back here, undo that. There's a terrible error there. I was getting ahead of myself. We're going to divide both sides by 5 because we've got 5x is equal to 7. So we divide both sides by 5 and x is equal to 7 over 5 or 7 fifths. Again, you could get the calculator out. 3 multiplied by uh, 7 over 5, add 3 is 36 over 5, and 10 subtract 2 multiplied by 7 over 5 is also hopefully equal to 36 over 5. We're right. Okay, now in example 5, we have brackets. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I want to see if you see the mistake I'm doing. So my obvious thought is to expand the brackets. Have you seen what I've done wrong? Well, what I've done is I haven't done 5 multiplied by negative 4, which would have actually been negative 20. So that's a classic mistake. Don't fall for that mistake. Okay? So we would have had 5x subtract 20 is equal to 2x add 11. So when you see brackets, it would be best to expand them. Now we're in familiar territory. We just subtract 2x off both sides. And we would get ourselves the equation 3x subtract 20 is equal to 11. We would add 20 to both sides. And we would get ourselves that 3x is equal to 31. And we would divide both sides by 3. So we would get that x is equal to 31 over 3. Get the calculator out, check it's right. So 5 brackets, and we're going to have 31 over 3, uh, subtract 4, and that's 95 over 3. Remember that, 2 brackets, 31 over 3, add 11, 95 over 3. We know we've got the right answer. Okay, and, it, and just a couple more. Um, we have two brackets on each side, so we're going to multiply these out. That would be 5x subtract 20 is equal to 2x subtract 22. We're going to subtract the 2x on both sides, so we have x's on one side, underline, 
we have that 3x subtract 20 is equal to negative 22. Now we're going to add 20 to both sides and we get that 3x uh, is equal to negative 2. We're at negative 22 over here and we add 20 so we get to negative 2. And therefore, dividing both sides by 3, we get that x is equal to negative 2 thirds. Again, you can get your calculator out and you can check that. So 5 brackets, I'm going to have negative 2 uh, negative two thirds, subtract 4, and we get ourselves negative 70 over 3. Let's check it through on the other side. 2 brackets, um, negative 2 over 3, subtract 11, and we get negative 70 over 3 also. Okay, now it's time for you to try a few yourself. So pause the video, have a go, and see if you can get the right answer. So here are your nine questions. In 10 seconds, I'll show you the answer. And here are the answers to this, uh, these problems here. So make sure you can get those answers. Hopefully you found that useful in solving equations with x on both sides. Thanks for watching.